everyone, this is Flippin' Nomad, and this is another one of my issues in gaming. Episode 6. Today's topic, Relationships and Gaming. Now, this is going to be a unique one, because I'm going to have to I'm gonna please both sides of the argument, because I know where this is going to go. And I know sometimes people have their own opinion, and stuff like that. So, let's get started, shall we? I'll first start off with the bad stuff people don't like about relationships and games. Now, we all know that some people out there... They don't like uh, their boyfriends or their girlfriends playing video games and stuff like that. Like, they're thinking, well, they're in a relationship with me, why don't they spend more time with me than the games? Now, let's, eva now, let's um, evaluate that, if we can. If a person is playing game, if a person is in a relationship, and if they're playing, and if they're playing games, but if they're spending more time with you and they're just playing their games like, you know, for like an hour or two or four at best, like a day, you know, or like when you two aren't with each other or unable to be with each other, you know, like, you're like, yeah, like, like I, I see like, if they devote their attention more to you than their games, you're, you're in good health right there. But other people out there don't really have that same kind of thinking. They think that video games is a is a no no. I, I know that video games is a, it is like it's an attention diverter. They, like the video games to them will divert their attention from you, and they're going to be playing their video games more than being with you. Which yeah, I, I can I can see where you're coming from here. But what if the person is playing is spending more time with you than their games? You have no problem. If you're still having a fit about it, be open-minded. Like, why be mad? You didn't buy the games. Like, you didn't you didn't buy the games for them. Like, they probably paid them for themselves with their own money. Like, where are they usually spending at? Their place? They're paying the electric bill? Like, they they worked hard just to just to pick up something they want to like you know just relax and have fun. Well, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, come on. Come at, it, come at it with another person's perspective here, folks, if you if you don't like that. If you don't like your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend playing games too much, even though they play, they spend some more time with you than their games. Now, I do agree that, that games can be, um, well, it can divert too much attention. Like, if someone plays more, their video games more than spending time with their, in a relationship with their boyfriend or girlfriend, yeah, you have a problem. I go, go up to him or her and uh, explain the situation and uh, and see if, see if that person there is going to um, step it up and uh, change some things. But if they don't, then yeah, I can see why. Like, you want to break up with that person. But in other situations, like, for me, for example, I used to be in a relationship for one month with my ex-girlfriend. And we were doing pretty good that month. Then I got a message from her that she wanted to break up with me because, she, like, on the phone, on the phone and stuff like that, like, she told me that she thought the relationship wasn't going anywhere, which I kind of thought, well, we could work out something here. But the other main reason was I was a gamer. It wasn't the fact that I played video games, it was the fact that I just played them. She hated gamers, and what happened in the relationship? I don't know. Like, I spent more time with her. We went out to places, bought something for her. We went out to eat sometimes. We went over to her parents' place. We had barbecues and stuff like that. Like, there's only one time when I asked her if, like, there's, there's only like one video game incident where she was over at my house, and, you know, I had, I had my 360 there. I had another controller. I had some games to play multiplayer. I was like, like, uh, hey, you want to play some Halo? I, he told me that you'd like to play Halo 2, so... Stuff like that. And she says, no, not now. So I was like, okay. And that was it. That's all I... And I never played video games in front of her. Never. I only checked a message on Xbox Live, and that was only once, real quick. Just a message. And I just turned off the console like that. And, um... I spent more time with her than my games. Like, I was... Like, I was clocking in, like, an hour a day. Or something because we we keep on we kept on going out with each other and stuff like that like going to places together every day but um yeah she broke up with me because I was a gamer and that's what I hate a lot just because you're a gamer or you play video games they're gonna break up with you like that or they they hate that fact by itself which is which is bullshit 
time there, folks. Um, yeah, like, it's bullshit. And now, I know, now I know sometimes, like, in a relationship, you want to get the, um, you want to get your boyfriend or girlfriend in gaming as much, and stuff like that. You want to share each other's interest. And what what I usually like to do is, um, well, well, um, okay, if if your boyfriend or girlfriend's coming over, and if you want to want to like introduce them to video games, you you get you get a game, you let them play a game or play a game together, because you're playing a game together. You have better chances, like you're both having fun, obviously, and stuff like that. Like, give them a game that where it's fun, like to play for like two people or parties and stuff like that. Or give them, well, let them play a game where, like, it has some type of interest that they like. Like, if a person likes playing, um, likes playing uh, football, let them, uh, like, say that you like if they you have a football game like Madden, like here. Or if a person likes to to watch horror films, well. Get a couple of horror games out, like uh, Resident Evil 4. You also got uh, Cleve Barker's Jericho and stuff like that. Uh, Fear. Fear is also a great horror game, horror title. And uh, yeah, let them play that. And uh, what usually works best is like party games, like people like, like uh, Rock Band, Guitar Hero, Mario Party, like games where you can play together with other people. Like those usually work best. So and that's a good way to introduce them to the gaming area. Now. Now, since I covered the bad topics and the topics where you can try to get them in the gaming area, but if they said no, like, I don't want to get into this, don't bring it up unless they're interested in what you're playing. Then you said, you want to play? <laughs> and if they're like, no, it's like, okay. And, but if they're like, kind of, like, give them the controller, like, here. Let their interests go free. Be in the wild. But, check your time again, folks. Okay, so uh, uh, video games can be uh, also a good thing in relationships. Like, uh, it can actually be a great thing in a relationship, actually. Because of how I see it. It is. Oh, crap. It's too cold. It's too cold. How I see it is, like, when a couple plays video games. It's not only like not only both of them are having fun, but it's strengthening their relationships, and they're just because they're enjoying the moment. And now it's like the same effect on if they're going out on vacation together, or if they're you know going outside playing, they playing soccer, or throwing a frisbee or stuff like that. It's like this is it's the same thing. You the you two are enjoying the moment, having fun together, being with each other, and yeah. Like also another great thing about video games is even though you got if you guys can't go out you can always be like hey like you want to go just go play a video game online together like like most games out there have online multiplayer and with a uh, mic chat support and yeah you you two will be talking to each other or taking down other people or just having fun in some games online like it's it's, it's a great thing sometimes like if if um. Like if a couple, if they both like to play video games, it's a great thing, honest to God. Like, so that's, sometimes that's, a, that's kind of like a rarity right there at best. Like gaming couples, they exist, but it's not a common thing to see. It's an uncommon thing, but they, they exist. And and usually their relationships work out great. They're like if they want to like talk to each other on the phone. They can or just message each other online in the game. They can like just. They can't be with each other just play online. It's, it's, it's a great thing. Like they're both there enjoying the moment, having fun, and just it just strengthens their relationship that way. And I think games could be a good thing. That's fine. Now for my closing statement, I, I just I just think like sometimes like don't judge a person by its book. See who they are. Really. If they play too much video games and spend time in a relationship, you got problems. But they play some games and spend more time with you, no problem. And like video games can also help strengthen relationships. And if you're trying to get them in a game, do something that's with an interest. So yeah, this is Flippin' Nomad, and this is episode six of Issues in Gaming, Relationships and Gaming.